in this video we will share information about dental management of angina pectoris patients my name is dr muhammad yusuf and i have 8 years of clinical experience in general dentistry my this video is specially for dental student and dental surgeons let's start dental management of angina pectoris patients angina pectoris is a condition in which a patient experiences chest pain or discomfort due to reduced blood flow to the heart dental providers should be aware of the signs and symptoms of angina pectoris and understand how to manage these patients during dental procedures first of all you should consult the physician second before any dental procedure it is important to obtain a thorough medical history including information on the patient's angina pectoris medications and any recent cardiac events patients with stable angina pectoris can usually tolerate dental procedures with appropriate precautions however Patients with unstable angina or recent cardiac events may need to delay or reschedule dental treatment until their condition is stabilized. Nitroglycerin is a vasodilatory drug used primarily to provide relief from anginal chest pain. It is currently FDA approved for the acute relief of an attack or acute prophylaxis of angina pectoris secondary to coronary artery disease. Nitroglycerin should be available during dental procedures for patients with angina pectoris. If a patient experiences angina during the procedure, the dental provider should stop the procedure and administer nitroglycerin as directed by the patient's primary care provider. Stress and anxiety can trigger angina pectoris in some patients. Therefore, It is important to create a calm and comfortable environment for the patient during the dental procedure. Considerations for local anesthesia in angina pectoris patients. Local anesthesia with vasoconstrictors should be used with caution in patients with angina pectoris, as they may be more sensitive to the effects of the vasoconstrictor. Alternative local anesthesia techniques may be necessary for patients with severe angina or cardiovascular disease. Epinephrine containing local anesthetics can be used in patients with angina pectoris, but it is recommended to limit the dose and use a maximum of 2 cartridges per appointment. Patients with angina pectoris may be at increased risk for bleeding during dental procedures due to changes in their blood vessels. Therefore, proper hemostasis techniques and monitoring should be employed during dental procedures. Nitrous oxide sedation may be contraindicated in patients with angina pectoris or cardiovascular disease. Alternative sedation techniques such as oral or intravenous sedation may be necessary for these patients angina pain is often felt in the mandible with secondary radiation to the neck and throat therefore the patient may initially suspect the pain to be of dental origin at this point discontinue the procedure and attain a comfortable position Ideally patients should wear comfortable clothes during visit. Avoid skin tight garments. Patient is reassured and restrictive garments are loosened. Patient is encouraged to have own NTG spray 1 or 2 metered spray depending on his or her usual requirement. Up to 3 doses of NTG spray can be given in 15 minutes. If angina sign and symptoms don't resolve with this treatment within 2 to 3 minutes, administer another dose of nitroglycerin and monitor patient's vital signs. Call his or her physician. 
and be ready to shift the patient to emergency. Dental procedure may be restarted if it is the usual type of experience for the patient. If no improvement within 3 minutes, myocardial infarction is suspected. Patient should be immediately sent to hospital. It is important to note that each patient with angina pectoris is unique. And management strategies may vary depending on the severity of the patient's angina pectoris symptoms and their medication regimen. Consult with the patient's primary care provider or cardiologist as needed for guidance on managing their angina pectoris during dental procedures.